up YouTube. Um, didn't plan on trading today. Been a pretty busy day, but figured I I have some time right now, so I'll get in here real quick. Just did some dollar trades, you know, get the juices flowing and stuff. Um, so we're in profit three dollars. I decided to do twenties, twenties today. See what that be like. And um, sorry, I was watching the chart. And um, just see if we can make a quick, um, a quick hundred here. So we just lost that one. We'll have to double up. Well, basically, not necessarily a hundred, but just get me a quick uh, five trades, five wins, and not five trades, but five uh, five wins. Let me wait for this next candle. See what it do. All right. All right. Not getting a good read on this chart here. back in business as y'all can see it gets expensive really fast the higher you go with Martin Gale so that's one starting off uh, not too great but I think we'll be all right okay broke even on that got a little lucky there could have easily lost that trade bad um let's see <clears throat> come back boom horrible dog Not looking great for me right now. All right, that'll be two. We're at ninety percent. We're not at um. We are not at um. Ninety-two percent, but ninety's still good. I just, you know, I saw the. As I was setting up, I saw the chart here earlier. I thought it looked all right, and it does look all right. I'm just not. I'm just not um catching these entries. I'm not um. I don't have the rhythm down, so I need to uh, slow down and focus a little more. like I need to catch these at the um, retraction <laughs> how many was that one Two, three, so two more. 
again, has um, had a few people reach out from the Telegram group. Uh, some people are doing well. Some people are still learning. That's four, right? No, it's not. What we got? One, two, three. My tripping. So there was three, three wins. Stay down, baby. There you go. That's four. But yeah, I think the Telegram group is working out. I mean, it's been a little dry in there lately, kind of quiet. But um, again, if people have questions, they need to ask them. And uh, hopefully we'll get some kind of answer that they're looking for. But, you know, people still hitting me up, you know, in a private message, which is also cool. You know, I'll answer however I can, but for the most part, you know, the information's there. You have to practice. Like, y'all saw me lose some trades here early on, and it just wasn't behaving like it normally would, you know, to, to, to how I trade. It wasn't um, doing what I wanted it to do, so I had to adjust. Come on, baby. Just need this uh, last trade here. And we'll probably be in profit for like maybe like seventy, seventy dollars or so. All right. Ah, uh, thought I caught the retraction. It would come back down. Incorrect. All right. That's annoying. Love Martin Gale. I'll never lose. <laughs> but again, Martin Gale gets really expensive. Y'all can see I'm already at trading 160, which means I've already um, pretty much almost lost 160. 140. So. It gets pretty expensive. I don't trust it. I'll just wait. Wait for this next candle. See what I can see. I'm gonna kind of let it even out because it's it's moving like crap right here. This chart's kind of my kryptonite. It has decent candles, decent sized candles, but it's not um not not moving right for my for my liking. So we got that one. So that's cool. So that's my five trades for today. Not for today, but for now, for this session. Um, it's just a little pricey, you know? But I like the uh, $20 at times because, you know, with $5, it just takes me longer to um, get this kind of profit. And uh, if you're watching in my videos, I always mention how I like to just get in and get out, get it over with. So let's see where we at. Yeah, again, it wasn't, it wasn't, I, I didn't do good in this chart. <clears throat> but good old Martingale strategy uh, lets me stay in profit regardless. 
So that's one broke even, two, three, four, and five. But you know, as you go higher and lose more, you lose more of a percentage. So it is what it is. Um, this does take a while to update. See, it had me at minus 71, but it'll update in a, in a while. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, it went to 90, from 90 to 92 percent. Cool. But now it's down to um, 88. I often uh, mess up and don't catch don't catch when um, the price has changed because I'm staring at the chart and the line chart so this was a major fuck up y'all I'm still at 160 I never went back down to 20 major mistake right major mistake but it worked out for me so it's all good it's all good I'll take that but see that's a rookie mistake right there rookie mistake after I hit it I said ah oh, shit but you know how should I put it oh well like you're supposed to believe that you're gonna win every trade you play so rather I had that 2160 shouldn't have really mattered just that if I lose that one doubling up starting there you know starting from that trade would have gotten pricey real quick but it's all good uh, so you know mistake made but it ended up working out for me now there has been a time where I made the same mistake and I messed up but hey that worked out that's a extra 160 I wasn't about to make so so I'm up uh, 75 <coughs> from earlier and it didn't um, so I would have ended up 75 for now this session and then saw an entry I liked and I went ahead and traded, but for some reason thought I was 20, but I was at 160. So, um, make me some nice profit on this trade. So, 140 plus 75. So, we're at like two, we'll be at two something. So, 140 on top of this uh, 75 once it updates. So, shit, glad I made that mistake. But, you know, y'all saw I went back to $1, so I don't, um, so I don't mess up. Um, don't really have much to say, man. Again, appreciate y'all for watching. If you're interested in learning, uh, the strategy or the method, it's not really a strategy, it's more of a method to me. You know, strategies is like, it's not cut and paste. It's not like, for the most part, yes, if this happens, you know, if the chart's doing this here, crossing here or whatever, and then in the over uh, bought or oversold, then you put this kind of trade, yes. But like this chart and this session is a perfect example. I was missing my trades because it wasn't doing what it normally would do or should do. So I had to adjust. You know, perfect example, I had to start, you know, waiting for the pullback and it coming back up or whatever the case. I had to pay a little closer attention to see um, what was happening. So, um, yeah, see, this is no good here. It's, it's, it's like almost like undecided, you know what I mean? I like these um, longer ones. It, it pushes down. Then it reaches the um, the oversold here. It jumps. It, it comes up a little bit and then continues to go down. I like these here. Catch it here. And when it comes back up and catch it coming down again. And then vice versa. This one came up into the oversold. 
And instead of uh, uh, push uh, uh, retracting and coming back up, it went straight back down. So this is just stuff you have to watch. Then it did the same thing here. It came, came down. And instead of uh, retracting and going down some more, it came right back up. So you pretty much just got to catch the rhythm of the chart. You know what I mean? Y'all kind of see what I did there. So since it's just basically just going up and down and not really retracting, once it goes down, I just traded it up. Once it came up, I just traded it down because that's how the chart is moving at this time. You know, it didn't do what it did back here. Back here, it came down, came up a little bit, and then went right back down. And then right up here, it's doing the opposite. It's basically just going up and down. So basically, you wait for it to come down, and then you trade it going back up. Once it goes up, you trade it going back down. So we're here, yeah. So it's going back up. So you pretty much just have to watch the chart and adjust your trading style to what the chart is doing. Just catch the rhythm of it and keep it moving. Get you like two, three trades in and then um, reevaluate because it'll switch up on you. And you might not notice, I often don't notice, but once I've lost like two trades in a row, that's a clue for me to say, hey, you know, pay attention like something's off. And uh, you pretty much go with the opposite of what you're doing. But um, again, uh, Martin Gale's not for everyone. Five seconds is not for everyone. Trading is not for everyone. Uh, practice good money management. Uh, you know, spend some time in a demo and practice your money management. See how you would do after like a week of trading or you can have a really good day, you know, and then think you're ready. And then the next day do horrible. So if you spend like a good week in a demo and just see how you would have done if that were real money, you know, that that's a good indicator. Would you be profitable after that week? You know, have some good days, some bad days or all good days. It depends. But Martin Gale, it's possible to have all good days, but you just have to, um, have the money to back it up depending on at what you're trading. I mean, I suggest to start off at $1 or $2 and, you know, be able to lose like six, seven trades. So, you know, and, and just slowly build the account that way. I mean, with that amount, with that amount of uh, being able to lose that many trades, you can stay in the charts for a while and pretty much just do your thing. I mean, you'll be surprised how fast it builds up. It seems like it doesn't, but in a good 30 minutes to an hour, you can get in hundreds of trades. And just with that $1, you can make hundreds, you know, depending on how you're doing. But um, I don't suggest being in there that long, you know, for myself, at least. I like to get in and get out, like I said before. Let's check it. It should be updated. It's been updating slow. 224. We'll take it. Uh, made me a good mistake here. Um, I always forget this. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Help your boy out. Um, you know, if you're in the Telegram group or if you're somebody that's been subscribed, watch the videos on a regular. Do your boy a favor. Just uh, put on the playlist. Uh, while you're not on the computer and let it play, you know, let me let me get some watch hours up Let me get them watch hours up so I can be monetized um, I won't make a whole bunch of money off of YouTube. It would just be cool to say that I am monetized. It's kind of like Just like an accomplishment, you know, but you never know you never know if your boy will You know blow up or not uh, it's again, it's not a goal of mine to blow up on YouTube or anything. Uh, people have mentioned that I should do TikTok. It's easier to make money on TikTok than YouTube. Um, but it's not a goal of mine to make money on YouTube or TikTok. But if I can reach more people by creating a TikTok and also uploading there, um, maybe I will. Uh, I might, I might. But I, I don't even have a TikTok account at this point, so 
I don't know how long the videos can be. I'm thinking it's just a whole bunch of shorts. So I don't know what kind of material I would post there. Maybe just some clips off of YouTube, I guess. Just make some clips out of my videos and get people interested. That's something I would have to look into. I would probably create a TikTok account and see what other binary traders are uploading and just go based off that. But the more people I can reach, the better. Um, especially especially people that have already been trading. I think this works best for people that have experience trading because once they try it, it just really makes sense because they're already used to looking at these charts. They're kind of used to how it moves for the most part. So just adding the line chart with the five seconds and the stochastics there uh, uh, is like a game changer for them. So, um, and, and just, uh, uh, price action, you know, trading in the direction of the candle, they, they can usually guess how the candle's going to end, but, you know, when they place trades for a minute or two, they often, um, you know, get spiked out at the end, but with the five seconds, you know, I think it works out for a lot of people as well, especially, like I say, especially people that have tried several things, you know, they just need that. The, the simplification this just makes it simple and um yeah it works out for people that have been trading for a while also people that just started off i mean they do okay with it as well but i think people that have done it before or have tried several different strategies have stared at these charts so long they're like me they kind of uh are able to kind of get a rhythm down know what's going to happen next they just can't predict it long term so when they do the five second trades you know they're they're good to go because the candle doesn't have to do that for a long term you just got to pretty much predict what it's going to do right now um again like comment subscribe any feedback is cool and um yeah, man, just, you know, put on a playlist, walk away, do your thing, and let YouTube just play. Let me get some watch hours. Uh, if y'all do that, I would really appreciate it. And um, with that being said, I'm out. Some nice little profit, quick and easy. You know, uh, let's see, how long, how long, uh, how long was I trading for? So from seven oh two the hell is that to my last trade well I wouldn't count these two to seven twelve so ten minutes so in ten minutes I made two twenty four I mean can't beat that can't beat that and uh yeah, I'm pretty much done for the day. That's what I make at my regular... Well, no, not really. Not really. I won't say if I make more or less a day, but it's around there, you know? So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I don't know where else I can make this much money in 10 minutes and be done for the day, you know? Just imagine doing this for a living. Get in... You know, play some trades, you know, just just make like, yeah, 10 minutes here, maybe get on later, do another 10, 20 minutes, make another 200, that's 400 for the day in like 20 to 30 minutes of um, trading. No stress, just at the house chilling. This is why I picked this up and um, plan on continuing. This is why I want people to, you know, know about this. Because no one introduced me to this. I stumbled ap uh, across it on YouTube. I was trying to figure out, um, you know, how to trade stocks, like real stocks, like stock market type stuff. And then I would see charts like this and, you know, on TradingView or whatever, people using TradingView. And I had no idea what they were doing. And I ended up just stumbling across um, binary options. And I haven't looked back since. I see no point on switching it up. I mean, Pocket has paid me this far um, whenever I withdrew. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's no reason for me to look for anything else until 
there is a problem or anything. I hope this continues to work where I'm at. And um, yeah, I have no complaints. Again, uh, appreciate y'all for watching. And I'm out. Deuces.